Welcome to a new episode of Cyber Review. Today, we're talking with Abhijit Mohanta about his book, Malware Analysis and Detection Engineering. He's the CTO and co-founder of IntelliRoot. He has worked in cybersecurity industry for more than 15 years, with a specialization in the area of malware analysis and detection. Hi, Abhijit. How are you? Thank you for joining us. I'm good. Sophia, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. So, can you tell us about yourself and how uh, you became interested in cybersecurity? Sure. Yeah. So, uh, I'm from India and I have graduated with uh, an engineering degree in computer science. Uh, I started my career in 2007 and uh, that time cybersecurity uh, was not uh, something of interest of people around me. And, uh, you know, like uh, I was working in uh, when I started my career, I was working in web development in Java, and uh, uh, but somehow I uh, uh, cybersecurity caught my attention. I was seeing uh, people they were working on maintaining servers and other things most of the time, uh, maintaining servers, firewalls, and other stuff. So basically, during that point of time, people were considering uh, administration uh, as cybersecurity, maintaining the devices, uh, just uh, installing the firewalls or updates. That was a cybersecurity during that point of time, even though a lot of things were there, uh, but things around me were a bit different and uh, uh, you know like uh, yeah so basically uh, i st started reading about cyber security uh, i uh, learned about things like uh, uh, ethical hacking i took a course in ethical hacking uh, that was uh, one of the starting point. Uh, so basically, when I uh, went for the course, I learned about what are malwares, what is reverse engineering. So from those terminologies, I started digging into the subjects. Uh, the subject of reverse engineering basically interested uh, me. So that is basically my book talks about uh, malware reverse engineering. So talking yeah. about <laughs> your book, Malware Analysis and Detection Engineer, can you give our audience a brief overview? Uh, sure. So most of the books around uh, there, they talk mostly about malware analysis. Uh, malware analysis is mostly the, it is a subject that is that can be used by incident responder, forensics analyst, and all kind of uh, people who deal uh, in cybersecurity. It can be used by everybody. But uh, our book is slightly different. Uh, it talks also about detection engineering. So it's uh, it covers things like IDS, IPS, sandboxes. Uh, and uh, it also talks about how to improve the detection. What is the architecture of those uh, those devices and the softwares which, uh, which are involved in detection of malwares. So uh, that that is the difference which our book uh, makes. And it's slightly different from other books uh, as we included subject uh, topics like, uh, uh, you know, classification of malwares. Uh, that is uh, least talked about in most of the books or uh, any of the trainings, uh, but we included that topic in our book. So uh, those kind of topics may, uh, made our books a book a little bit different. Apart from that, our book had a lot of exercises. Uh, there are a lot of hands-on labs, uh, which people really liked. And uh, because many of the books out there, uh, they did not have enough exercises uh, or labs. Uh, yeah. Okay, sounds great. So in, in your opinion, uh, what are the most important skills and qualities someone uh, who wants to excel in the field of malware analysis and detection should have? Mm -hmm. So basically, when we talk about malware analysis and detection, we basically need to understand about the environment in which the malware, um, the the malware attacks. So it, it it we need to understand about the operating system. We need to understand about the underlying computer architecture. Uh, we talk about uh, like x86 architecture. What is the assembly language um, involved in the architecture, uh, and some other stuff like operating system internal. So this book is mostly oriented towards uh, Windows malware. So we have talked a lot about Windows internals, Windows APIs. Uh, and apart from that, we have talked about network and uh, there is a chapter on network intrusion detections. Okay, so uh, basically, when you need to understand malware, you need to uh, understand multiple subjects, uh, because malware is a piece of software that uh, does a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, it, it, it has to do a lot of stuff with the operating system, computer architecture and uh, 
uh, networking so you need to have a good understanding of all the fields um, uh, in my opinion uh, you should be a good programmer as well uh, because i see a lot of malware analysts they only uh, restrict themselves towards just using their tools and they uh, don't understand the programming importance of programming part of it so basically you should have an overview of the entire thing and you should specialize in some other uh, areas uh, in malware analysis okay uh, sounds good so and yeah. uh, can you uh, so can just you, just, just yeah. i wanted to add another stuff so malware analysis even though it's uh, people uh, think it is a single subject so it can be further uh, you know like broken into further more subjects like uh, you know windows uh, malware analysis is one area after that there are android malwares there are linux malware apart from that uh you know there are malwares that can be designed for um, arm architecture for intel architecture okay so the diversity of malware analysis is uh, too much uh, you know we just call it as a malware but it, it is highly diverse yeah that's true so where can we get your book and how the audience can connect with you uh yeah so uh, i'm available on linkedin uh, most of the times uh, and apart from that uh, you can yeah uh, my email id would be there around i have uh, published blogs and other stuff so uh, linkedin is one of the best way uh, in which audience can uh, reach out to me okay so thank you so much abhikit uh, for your time we wish you all the best with thanks. this book have a great day uh, thanks sophia yeah